This is the question asked in today's skill rack daily challenge. So in the first line of our input we are given 3 integers n, x and y. So here n is equal to 25, x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 7. So we have to print all the integers in the range 1 to 25 which are not divisible of 5 and it should also not be a divisible of 7. So we have to print all those integers which are present in the range 1 to 25. So in our output we can see that we are printing the integers 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9, 11, 12 so like that. So we are excluding the numbers which are either a divisible of 5 or a divisible of 7. So excluding all those integers we are printing the remaining integers in our output. So now let us see how we will be filling the remaining lines of code in order to print our output like this. So this is the code given to us. Here we can see that first we are creating three integer variables n, x and y. And after that using a scanf statement we are accepting the values of n, x and y. And then we are creating a loop that iterates from 1 till val less than or equal to n. And in every iteration of this loop we are printing the value of this integer val. But we should not print the value of the integer if it is either a multiple of x or a multiple of y. So in those cases we should not print this integer val. So in the if statement we can just fill our condition. So we have to check whether val mod x equal to 0 or val mod y equal to 0. So if any one of this condition is true then we can execute the continuous statement. So whenever we are going to execute the continuous statement the current iteration will be skipped and we will move to the next iteration. So this is how we can avoid printing the integer which is either a multiple of x or y. So these are the two statements with which we can fill in the remaining lines of code to make it run successfully. So this is the logic to solve today's daily challenge. Thank you for watching.